Good morning, everyone. This is Professor Hartman, and I have logged into the Blackboard Environmental course, and this will be the way that um, I will deliver the mini lectures for this course. So what I'm going to basically do is give you an overview for each chapter. So let's begin. I'd like to remind you that if you use the list view in Blackboard, if you use this list view and you select your um, item from the menu, <clears throat> excuse me, you then have to worry about um, using all these page, you know, clicking through these pages. So what I like to do is to switch to a folder view and that way I can select from the learning modules, I can select the chapter I'd like to review. So <clears throat> let's begin with um, chapter one, which is understanding our environment. Um, basically, I would like you to just read the chapter <clears throat> and um, As you're reading the chapter, focus on the pages that I've highlighted in the outline. Okay, read through the material, become familiar with what the chapter is going to be about and what sections I have selected for you to um, highlight. Okay, uh, I have not selected all sections of each chapter. So make sure you read the sections that I've highlighted in the, um, in the unit outline. <clears throat> so basically this chapter is going to talk about um, what environmental science is, um, what types of problems we have in our world, and you know how much diversity we have and how perhaps we can keep this um, beautiful world of ours from going down the toilet. We know now that we are having some serious problems with our fisheries and our oceans and some areas are being overfished and how are we going to solve this problem? Well this section here is just talking about how all of these groups, all of these scientists, all of these sciences come together and we try to, to solve the problems that we are given with these environmental problems. We, we just try to use the scientific method and solve, you know, understand a problem and solve it. That's what we're trying to do. <clears throat> and we do. We, we have the politicians, you know, they, they speak to the people. They have to um, promote good use of the environment. And most of our politicians don't. They want immediate return on their money. So they're going to go with the oil companies and these big businesses and big developers and you know, we, we have to get in, we have to get people in our political fields to become environmentalists. We have to get some help out there so that they can set policies that will help not just our environment in America, but the entire world, worldwide. Okay, so... <clears throat> So as we move through, um, we just, this chapter is just basically going to go over several of the problems we're currently having. And most of these are caused by our own 
lack of understanding of how how our lives affect the planet. Uh, we can absolutely say that the world is heating up and we know what's causing it. Pollution's causing it. The greenhouse effect. And if you don't believe that by now, I, I really don't know. I don't know what else to say. We, we are having serious weather pattern issues and extreme weather this year. Just, just crazy weather things. And, and our world is heating up. And so what are we going to do about it? Okay. Just, you know, food supply. Some people are starving. Some people are eating too much. It's just, you know, this whole book touches on these different issues. So just read through this chapter, clean water. We can't live without water. So we need to be sure that our water supply is kept clean and safe. Well, this, I sure would like to drink this, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you like to have some of that fresh water there? You know, it, it's like, why, why do people poop and pee and, and put their refuse in water that they need to survive? It's just, it boggles my mind. It really does. So, <clears throat> energy resources. We are a country that loves our oil and we love driving our cars. We have got to make some, um, we've got to make some adjustments and we've got to do it now. We've got to stop consuming these gases and, and oils and coals that are not renewable. We've got to use renewable um, energy air problems. I mean, it, it just, d loss of biodiversity. Some of these habitats have, have medical cures in them that we have not even discovered yet. And we are, we are destroying these habitats by over-exploitation, pollution, uh, introduction of exotic organisms. You know, it, it's just, it's, it's running rampant and we've got to do something about it. Our marine resources, you know, but okay, we are, some of us are doing something about it and there are signs of hope. We just have to get more people to participate in these efforts. So as you read through, you will, um, see what things are happening and just just continue to read and and get a feel of what this book is about and what the course is going to be about and basically your exams will com come from the material in the chapters and you know you sh everyone should be able to just work towards getting a good grade by reading through the reading through the book and re reviewing these outlines and just making sure you understand the material and so forth okay so basically that's chapter one the here towards the end some of the people involved in the environmental movements um, national parks and um, different types of um, pollution awareness and this type of thing. So <clears throat> that's about all I'm going to say for this chapter. And um, I'll see you next time. So have a good day.